Last year, Ford Performance Chief Dave Paracock found himself standing next to Edsel Ford II at the edge of a certain pastoral French racing circuit that has witnessed 84 years of glory, gore, grudges, and relentless grit. You know, mused Ford, according to Paracock's recollection, I was here 50 years ago with my father, when we won it. Now I'm here with my son. When you work at FOMO Co., you work for a family. Paracock who, with a small group of volunteers, took over a padlocked basement room in Dearborn, Michigan, and labored on his own time and after hours for months on Project Phoenix before it was even approved, tells me with a faraway look, to bring that trophy back and hand it to that family, to return the most coveted prize in family history, that's what it was about. Le Mans veterans will tell you that if you bring a new team, you should keep your expectations in check. And the GT's attempt last year to celebrate Ford's 1966 24 hours of Le Mans victory with a class win started ominously. In sheeting rain, one of the four GT's, already saddled with last minute weight and boost penalties, suffered a stuck gearbox right before the green flag. Wanting to be near the action, Paracock's boss, Ford executive VP and chief technical officer Raj Nair, leaped a rain slicked pit wall, slipped and broke his elbow. Amid the tension, nobody even noticed. The wait is over. Almost a year later, we're standing beside another circuit, a 2.2-mile slice of the Utah Motorsports campus west of Windy Salt Lake City, next to the road-going version of the Ford GT that will trickle into buyer's hands at the rate of 250 annually over the next four years. Finally, after the surprise January 2015 reveal at the Detroit Auto Show, after countless magazine covers and breathless coverage, a few lucky members of the 4th estate will at long last get to drive Project Phoenix. I am in that group. About to pilot the first cousin to an honest to Ronnie Buckingham Le Mans car. The GT is pure Ford history and enthusiasm condensed against all odds and business sense into a drivable carbon fiber Hot Wheels toy that forever will remain rare enough to drop jaws wherever it goes. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna. Thanks for watching and subscribe.